Go High Level just made an update that makes conversational chatbots, appointment booking bots way, way better, and you could do it in literally five minutes. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. A lot of videos don't cut right to the chase and waste a lot of your time. I'm not going to do that. Go to Go High Level, go to settings. You're going to go down to conversational bot or conversational AI. Here we go, conversation AI. Once you click that, you're going to see these settings here. And this is where you're going to set up your bot, train your bot, and actually see how your bot would talk to your uh, clients or to your prospects that are actually talking to you within your text messages or your emails, okay? So you could choose here if you wanna do SMS, actually not emails, okay? So SMS, Instagram, Facebook, chat widget, live chat, okay? In this case, I wanna do SMS because I have a lot of leads that come through TikTok ads, Facebook ads, and if you guys wanna learn more about TikTok ads or Facebook ads, check out my other videos. But yeah, we're gonna turn on autopilot beta, okay? Make sure you keep it on SMS. If you do have your Instagram connected and you have a lot of leads that come through Instagram, you could turn that on too. Put your business name. So I'll just put go hire, retire. Now wait time before responding to be as realistic as possible. I like to do 10 two minutes, maximum messages. Max you could do is 25. I like to do the maximum because why would I ever want it to time out? Okay. And then as far as send bot to sleep after I send a message, if I ever send a message, I don't want it to continue the conversation while I'm talking because then it'd be like two people are talking to the same person. It wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to make it to where it times out after two hours. Okay. Once you have these settings set up, it can immediately start messaging on your behalf. In fact, right now it's starting to mess message on my behalf. If you want to test out how to have a conversation or what the conversation would go like, just go to bot trial and actually test it out. Real quick before I break down some of the most important settings, I do wanna mention, I do have all these bonuses to give you if you do sign up for Go High Level using my link, okay? If you already have Go High Level, you can actually upgrade using my link and you'll get all these bonuses. I have nine courses that go over TikTok ads, uh, building out funnels, how to get to 100K a month, 100K accelerator, Go High Level course using some of the best automations that I use to close tens and tens of thousands of dollars per month. My SOPs, my virtual assistant hiring processes, 300 things that virtual assistants that you pay $5 an hour can do and then read all this other stuff. I'm not going to go through all the nonsense, but ebook, audiobook, all these SOPs, like I mentioned. Okay. Who am I, right? I have helped a lot of people make tens of thousands of dollars, as you can see right here, been featured on Yahoo Finance, Investors Observer, Market Watch, Morningstar, a little bit of lifestyle stuff, travel the world, got my dream car. Okay. I don't love showing this, but a lot of people want to see this stuff before they actually believe you. But yeah, you could join my school group. Okay, you could join my school group for $37 a month if you want before it goes up to 90, $197 a month. Okay, you do get this for free if you sign up for Go High Level using my link. So let's get back to it. Okay, so let's say hello. Let's click quickly chat with it and test it out. I want to book a call. Okay, I want to book a call. And this is where the import, important settings come up. Look, I can't help you with booking calls, but watch this. If we go to bot training, not only could I upload my website FAQs, if I, let's say for me, I sell virtual assistants, I, I sell virtual assistant recruitment, I would upload a whole bunch of virtual assistant articles to inform the bot of what virtual assistants do and how much they cost and things like that. Okay, I can even make an FAQ website if I don't already have one, answering all the most important questions, put it in here, click on get data, and I'm going to up upload multiple links. So let's configure the intents. This is where you're going to choose if you want it to book calls or not. If you do want it to book calls, you click on enable. Okay. If not, it's pretty much just going to be customer service, customer support. You can edit the prompt here and actually add custom values. I can actually use chat GPT to build out, build out my bot prompt for me. I can add humor. I can add different ways of answering questions the way that I like. I can add a whole bunch of my different services here. And then add custom values as well, like their name or my name or the appointment setter's name and all that stuff. Okay. So far, this has been about a four minute video. Let's see what else we could do here. If I do turn on my appointment booking, uh, appointment booking bot, I can connect the calendar that I want. In this case, I would choose the implementation calendar. Now I could choose that it doesn't book the appointment, only sends a booking link. I don't want that. I want, to, I want it to actual bo actually book. Okay. So I could choose to pause the bot after booking. The reason you would want to do this is because maybe you have automation set that send messages after they book. But if you want the bot to continue to congratulate them on booking a call and stuff, then don't click this. For me, I have automation, so I do want to turn this off and I'll turn it off for two days. Okay. Just in case they want to ask me more stuff after the two days, after I have a call and they're not yet a client, I might want to make this like three days, four days and keep this on. Okay. And, and, and only pause it for two days. I can also trigger a workflow after booking. So like I mentioned, if I don't want to 
uh, pause it after they book and I want it to trigger a certain workflow, I could choose the workflow that I want it to trigger by clicking on this box right here. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me do this box. Let's see. Boom. Okay, here we go. And then I'll select the workflow that I want. All right, so this, this is basically everything in a nutshell, top to bottom. If you have any particular questions on exactly how to do this and how to set up the prompts and things like this, this is probably one of the most useful features that are going to replace so many jobs here on Go High Level. If you don't already have Go High Level and you have HubSpot or something stupid, just get Go High Level. It's $97 a month. Use my link. You get access to all these bonuses. Okay, you get access to all these bonuses. And... You get access to the school group where I actually hop on calls once a week and answer questions. I go through your sales calls and all that stuff. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe. I have a whole bunch of videos going over sales calls, going over how to do TikTok ads, Facebook ads, hiring virtual assistants, how to build a virtual assistant staffing agency, all this stuff that I know you're, you're going to love. So any questions, drop it down below.